Today is September 18th, 2019, and it's a joy for me to be sharing with you that God can do the impossible in your life. I want to encourage you, not that you need to do this, but I want to encourage you, if you know someone that needs healing, uh, you can bring and share this little video with them today, and then you can pray for them. You can lay hands on them and believe God to heal them. I want to challenge you. Do something. Be active in your faith. In Exodus chapter 15, verses 22 through 27, it says, Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. So they went out to the wilderness of Shur, and they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Now when they came to Merah, they could not drink the waters of Merah, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Merah, or bitter. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord. The Lord showed him a tree, and he, when he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. And there he made a statute and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them. And he said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commands, and keep all his statutes, which I, uh, I will put none of the diseases on you, which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elam, where there were twenty wells of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there by the waters. In Deuteronomy 28, 27 and 28, the Lord will strike you with the boils of Egypt, with tumors, with the scab, with the itch, which, from which you cannot be healed. The Lord will strike you with madness and blindness and confusion of heart. Now, I, I remind you that that verse in Deuteronomy is about the blessing and cursing. That chapter is full of blessing and cursing. Blessing if you obey the Lord, cursing if you disobey, if you live in rebellion, you live in your sin, when you could be brought to the cross of Jesus Christ where he shed his blood, died for my sin and your sin, and was buried and resurrected from the dead, breaking death's power over us and sin's dominion over us so that we could be free from sin. So God's asking for Israel to meet the conditions of the promise. Obey me and I'll protect you. This is preventative. We hear so much about preventative medicine and holistic health and eating this kind of food and that kind of food and watching our diet and so forth and this will prevent certain sickness and disease and there is some truth in that no doubt but I'll tell you the greatest preventative from disease there is on the planet and that's obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ and so God makes covenant and he says in this part of the covenant with the I am God the I am the Lord who heals you I want you to meet certain conditions and you will avoid the plagues that I put upon Egypt and so this begins to be expanded throughout Scripture. In Isaiah 53, 5, it says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. In Malachi, the last book of the Old Testament, chapter 4, and verse 2, But to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. In Luke 9, 11, But when the multitudes knew it, they followed him, and he received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. <clears throat> what does this mean for us today? Divine healing is to restore to health. Health is the state of an organism with respect to functioning, disease, and abnormality at any given time. Optimal functioning with freedom from disease or all our abnormality is health. Optimal functioning with freedom from disease or abnormality is really what is health, well-being, God has promised to be his people's healer. Divine healing is to restore to health. God has provided that health through his son, Jesus Christ. And provision for our healing is total. I want you to hear this. Provision for your healing today is total. Soul sickness because of sin that's marred our lives that we haven't repented of, that we need to repent of now, today. Today's the day of salvation. Mental illness. God can heal from mental illness, much of which is torment of demons. Emotional illness. Some traumatic event 
that happened in our life and, and a scar is being carried. And today, God is your healer. Physical healing, all sickness, all made well because Jehovah gives us well-being and makes us whole. He makes us in unity with him again. Today, you may have received a doctor's report. You may have all have your body infected already with disease. But I want you to hear this clearly. God declares, I am the Lord who heals you. That does not mean that medicine and doctors cannot be used by God to facilitate what God alone can do because only God can heal. Doctors can't heal and medicine can't heal. Doctors and medicine deal with symptoms and abnormalities from what is called normal or healthy. God's, God's designed the body to reject disease and in effect heal itself. However, when something occurs, say an invasion or rebellion in a bodily system, an accident or an injury, then one may have to have surgery to remove, repair, or bring in to subjection some rebellious cells. But ultimately, it is God alone who heals. And he is able to do that for you right now. He is able to restore and bring to life it says in Luke 9, 11, he healed all who had need of healing. So I want to ask you right now, do you have need of healing or do you know someone who has need of healing? Then let's ask God to do what God alone does. He heals. Father, I'm thinking of many people who my wife and I day after day have prayed for and watched you intervene in their life. And even now, we're continuing to pray for others who have yet to be healed. And so I ask again right now, Lord, and I pray for complete restoration for those who need healing. I thank you, Jesus, that by those stripes we are healed. And that when you walked on this planet, you went about doing good and healed all who had need of healing. And so even today, we lay our hands on people who are sick. As we go about the duties of our day and the responsibilities we are going to be carrying out, we're going to be alert and alive to the Holy Spirit. We're going to be alert to what's happening in other people's lives. And we're going to be instruments in your hands. And we're saying, God, use us. Use us to fulfill the work of your kingdom. And we praise you today that you are the God who heals us. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. May we be made whole today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's just be ambassadors today. Yeah, let's go about doing good as Jesus did. And let's not be ashamed to lay our hands on people and believe for God to heal them in Jesus' name. Have a great day.